It is a big night at the Buffalo School Board. That's where they're going to be deciding on a punishment for a common council member who brought a gun to school. And that decision has brought protesters to the meeting in downtown Buffalo. And that's where Two on Your Side's Jackie Roberts is live tonight. Jackie? Scott and Mary Alice, the meeting isn't set to start for another half an hour, but several people have already started to fill in here at City Hall. So far, the crowd is made up of gun rights advocates. They say the punishments suggested for Council Member Ulysses Wingo are too strict. This all started when Councilman Wingo walked into Riverside High School for an event with his gun. Once he realized he had it on him, he reportedly told the school principal, who stored Wingo's gun in his office and allowed Wingo to stay at the event. When Erie County District Attorney John Flynn looked at the case, he said Wingo did break a law, but the DA chose not to press any charges. Most of us, I think, probably wouldn't have told anybody that we had our firearm on us. We would have just went about our business and left. Mr. Wingo took the responsible step and talked to the school principal and tried to comply with school regulation and pending state law that's been passed by the legislature. So I think he tried to do the right thing. Wingo especially wants to be let back into school for his son's graduation. Again, this meeting isn't expected to start until 530 and we will keep you posted with that information as it comes to us. For now, reporting in Buffalo, Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.